position of the box. So there are like six calls of that function. Okay, uh, reshape window is a default function from GLAD. Um, this is one important thing uh, is, uh, is the distance uh, of how far the camera can see. This is quite big because yeah, the skybox is quite far away because of the Pluto and other planets. Uh, the keyboard press it will, it will increase the zoom, decrease the zoom. Uh, will will call the function called jump planet uh, depending of which key you press. Jump the planet. Jump the planet it will only change the planet over to the planet you asked for. Uh, time multiply is uh, a multiplier for the time of the speed, rotation, and orbit. Um, this will this won't allow the time multiplier go less than 0 0.01. So it will. Um, I will try to see if it's smaller. If it's smaller, it will uh, divide by the one, so it will remain the same. Uh, if it's not uh, smaller, if it's bigger, it will divide by two, D bigger or equal. The same goes for time multiplier when you increase the time multiplier with one and two. Okay, um, here are some. Uh, function glad callbacks these are the callbacks of the functions and these are some default function with which glad requires like uh, to specify the display mode uh, window size windows position the name of the window and so on and so forth this is one of one uh, important thing because you need to enable the depth test. If you don't, uh, GLAD won't detect if a uh, planet is closer to the screen, closer to the camera, or not. Um, initialize planet um, is a function that will initialize all the planets. Uh, as you can see, the planets have a name. Here are the Helian and Perihelion. These are, if I remember correctly, the size. Oh no, the speed. The speed, the texture, this is the size, and this is the inclination. So, for example, <coughs> um, for the Earth, the Helian is 152 and Perihelion is 147. This is the winter time and the summer time. Uh, one represents the speed of rotation, so uh, everything is represented in the Earth years. So Earth will have an orbit in one Earth years, uh, while Mercury will have a rotation uh, in 0 0.240 Earth years. So when Mercury, when Earth will uh, make a whole rotation, Mercury already made four rotations. The same goes for the size, everything is uh, according to uh, the Earth size. Uh, sun is pretty big, so I just divided it by 13, just to look, look nicer in my solar system. As you can see, everything is small, smaller than 11 but the sun is 109 uh, and 109 doesn't mean that uh, 109 planets earth planets uh, can fit in the sun but the radius is 109 and the earth's rad radius is 1 um, I have an inclination of 15 of the Earth Moon. 
uh, as the last parameter um, some have so doesn't have because this represent if <coughs> if the this planet is a moon or not so if it's a moon you need to specify uh, who is the host so for the earth moon the host is planet number three so zero one two three earth so the earth moon is the moon of the earth the same goes for jupiter moons i have a for loop for the jupiter moons uh, here is the planet number five which is so this one was three four five the jupiter and first uh, you will say the planet hover is equal to the first planet which is the sun so you are looking at the sun when you start the, the application um, I didn't make this function uh, I found it on a forum uh, it, this function is for adding textures it was quite complicated and yeah I used it I used the forum to search for how to add a texture. These are for the planets, and these are this is for the stars. In the main function, I playing a song, uh, call the initialize planet function, the print menu. I'll show you in a bit, and initialize glut and glut init. These are the function, these functions. Here is the mouse. Uh, again, load BMP. This is for the texture, and this is the menu. First, we will clean the screen, and then you will go. Uh, we'll go to forward to the planet and print. Um, the button you need to press and the name of the planet okay that's quite all um, one more thing uh, if you want to include the glut you need to specify the full path of it um, I tried to make it global but I couldn't not global dynamic uh, it was quite hard I spent a lot of time on it and I couldn't find any solution sorry here is the glut and it has this this file these are very important okay that's all thank you for watching one more thing I forgot to show you my list class uh, my list and node the node is a template as well as the list so you can uh, put in the node anything you want in, in my case I put uh, the planet so I have a list of planets and you have um, the add function the length which will tell you what is the length how many planets you have in the list um, add after it's a bit different than this one this will add at the end of the list and this will add after an index you will have also the get function to get the planet or a type t object whatever you ask for uh, remove add will remove a planet at an index and this is for printing all the planets and it's not working for the planets but it will work if you have um, a list of integers floats doubles and so on and so forth 